everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing very well in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet mushroom airpods case so to make this airpods case you're going to need two different colors of double knit yarn i'm using white and red you'll also need your airpods case a three millimeter hook a tapestry needle and some scissors so i'm going to start off with the white yarn make a slip stitch a uh, slip knot sorry and we are now going to make a chain of 10. And then instead of single crocheting into each chain across, we're going to single crochet into the back bumps of each chain. So as you can see here, you can see these little back bumps. We're going to be single crocheting into that second back bump from the hook. So this one right here. And then I'm going to single crochet into each back bump across. Once you've done your last single crochet into that back bump, you're going to make another single crochet into that same spot to make an increase. So technically now you should have 10 chains, 10 single crochets, sorry. We're now going to be working in each uh, stitch across here, single crochet, and then once we reach our last single crochet, we'll be making an increase again. I'm also going to be weaving in this tail as I go along so I don't have to sew in any ends. Okay, once you reach your ninth stitch, you're going to make an increase. And then you're just going to slip stitch back into that first stitch. So you should have 20 stitches now in your round. So for round two, basically going to be repeating the exact same thing. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet into the exact same spot. That's your first stitch. So I'm now going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. So I've just done 10 single crochets in total. Once you get to your 10th one, you're going to add another one, so an increase. And then you're going to repeat that single crochet into the last 10, and once you reach your 10th, you will make another increase. make an increase so you should reach the end of your round now and to finish and close the round you're going to slip stitch into that next single crochet so it should be that first single crochet that you made in the round like that so you should have this nice circular shape and that is the end of round two so as you can see it is now starting to form nicely around the case so I'm going to do one last row where we do an increase because we just increased in this row by two stitches you should now have 22 stitches in total so basically you want to in each row that you're increasing divide this by two so this row will be 11 and you'll be single crocheting into the next 10 stitches and in the 11th make an increase and then single crochet into the next 10 and in the 11th make that increase so I hope that makes a bit more sense so you're basically at every halfway point making that increase. So for row three, it's gonna be the exact same. Chain one, and you're going to be single crocheting into the next 11 stitches. In that 11th stitch, you'll make that increase.
make that increase. Uh, make that last increase and once again you're going to close the round by making a single crochet into that next single crochet like so so I'm going to check now that this fits nicely it does so now I'm going to just be making rows of single crochet so we're not going to increase for any more now of um, this white section of the case. So round four is just simply chain one, single crochet into that exact same spot and then make a single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then close the round with a slip stitch. Okay, so I've just finished round four and now you're going to be repeating round four which is just single crocheting all around and then slip stitching until you reach the height of this portion of your case. So I will let you know how many rows I ended up doing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is what it's looking like so far. So it's covering the case nicely and you're just gonna keep building rows until you reach this point here. So I've got my red yarn and I'm basically just going to be doing the exact same process. I'm going to be doing one rows one, two and three, the exact same, starting with a chain of 10, obviously then ending up with a row of nine stitches and then obviously doing the increase, re increasing rows for three rows and then a single crochet row. And I will meet you back when I have done row four. But um, just as a recap, Make a slip knot and chain 10. Single crochet into the second back bump of the row and then single crochet into each back bump. Once you reach the last stitch, you're going to make that increase and then single crochet across this row and an increase into that last stitch. Okay, slip stitch back, chain one, and again increase. So uh, 10 single crochet in the 10th again uh, you will make an increase once you reach the 10th on this side make an increase and then row 3 chain 1 single crochet 11 in the 11th make an increase and then single crochet 11 and in the last 11th stitch make an increase Okay, so I've just done my three rows of increasing and now I'm going to do my fourth row which is just the single crochet all the way around. So chain one and I'm just going to single crochet all the way around. Okay, so that should then cover your top part of your case completely. 
So you're now going to chain one and leave a long tail for sewing. Okay, I'm now going to add some white spots into this area here. So you're just going to grab your white yarn and cut a long piece off. You're going to tie a knot at one end. And you're going to grab your tapestry needle and place it on. Okay, so you always want to start from the inside and come outwards because you want that little tail to be hidden. So you can just place these randomly. So I'm just going to start anywhere. So I'm just going to start here, pull through, and you can see the knot stays on the inside like that careful not to pull too tight otherwise it's just gonna pull all the way through so I'm doing my spots like little kind of like little white love hearts so I'm kind of making these little V's so I'm just going into a section directly above and to the left like that and then I'm going back into the original place and then I'm going to do the exact same thing but on the opposite side so I'm going diagonally to the right and then putting through okay I'm just going to pull that tight and then I'm just going to repeat that so I'm going to go back into the middle and then to the left back into the middle and then to the right just to make them a little bit more solid Just like that so you kind of get these little like love hearts and i'm just going to dot these around and um, randomly so i'm going to place another one here and then di diagonally to the right uh, to the left sorry and back up and diagonally to the right and then i just repeat that Just fastening this off now, just making a double knot on the inside. Okay, that's what that should be looking like. I just did it all around the edge and then a few on top as well. So now we're going to sew to the case so I'm just going to tuck this um, tail on the inside of the case and just forget about it for the time being okay and you could just line up your case uh, the bottom of your case to the top of your case so I'm just going to line this up and then place it on the needle so the way that I like to fasten um, is with, I believe it's called the mattress stitch. So I want to start right on the side. And as you can see here, the thread is not directly on the side. It's kind of like towards the front. So I'm just going to weave the needle back through to the side so I can actually get it to the spot that I want it. So that looks good. And now when I place it on the case, it's nice and lined up. So what the mattress stitch looks like is, it's a bit fiddly. <laughs> Line it up 
and then place your needle through the stitch directly below it like that and pull through once you do this first one it kind of makes it so much easier okay so that's secure now hope you use fiddly okay so you're just going to go directly into the next stitch and then you're going going to go into the one directly above through and then you're going to go into the one next one and pull through and then you're going to go into the one directly below and then into the next one and then you just want to pull that tight and that should hide your stitches so I'm going to continue that all the way along until I get to the side stitch here and then hopefully visually it should look like nice and neat. So it's basically going into two next to each other and then a directly above and then the one next to that. Then back down and then the one directly next to it and then back up and then the one directly next to it. So I'll do it once more for you so you can see. So I've just gone, as you can see, I've just gone directly down and I've just gone into the one next to it. So now I'm going to go back up into the next stitch. So that's that one there. Pull through. And then directly into the one next to it. Pull through. Now we're going to go back down. So find the next stitch. Back down. And as you keep doing it, kind of pull tight so that you can make sure everything is nice and neat. Going into the next one, one directly next to it. And then going directly above. And you'll know which one to go into because as you can see here, we've already been through this stitch right there. We've already been through that one. As you can see, there's a line directly below it. So it's this one here that we need to go into. Okay. And you never want to be going, wrapping it over because then it's going to be visible. You always want to make sure that you're going through the back and then you're going downwards. So there's the next one. Once I've done my last um, stitch, I've brought the yarn now back onto the inside and I'm just going to make a double knot. And this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. And if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to make next, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.